So hello guys today mm, we are going to attack and defense and uh, and in, in this book we will learn how to attack and how to attack okay this is the position you can see in the game in the game we play knight g5 one more option is there like i will just question you after some time b4 but it is clear that anand's team had worked this out in a great detail two of his second uh passing with the first two class. Class. In this position, this is a game between Anand versus Arunian, and uh, okay, let's check and close this. Uh, let me open some songs, and uh, Okay, I'm just right. On this position, we will have another ending. We just change the image one more guys and you just think here it's uh, black to play Yeah. So here, what you do? Mm. In book versus pawn and do obstruction. I just. Yeah, now we will focus on the chess only. Okay. In rook versus pawn and two obstructions frequently used by both sides. As we already saw in the first section of this chapter, here are two examples. In view of threat is king g7. King g7. So black is forced to enter a rook versus pawn ending. So he played rook at seven. Rook at seven. King cross d3. And the rook d7 a clever check Expel expelling the black king from its steel place on a neighboring file to the pawn another move e4 draws comfortably okay uh, king to e3 a key move preparing a later obstruction on the white king if you play king c3 then king is cut off so it loses after rook e7 king d4 king f7 e4 and king will king is coming 
and why to just f3 in time suppose this 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 kind of tick so this is losing so that's why king e6 king e6 very important here and here rook d7 is not so good here you can just play okay king d4 only yes you play king d6 then king c3 king f5 e3 rook e7 and king d2 and black just draws if you play like this and king can't reach suppose some checks sorry and here then i have to be a draw okay after king d4 if you play king to f2 sorry here if you play king f2 then rook f7 check king e2 or maybe king g2 king g2 then rook will come behind and king is coming on time so that's why uh, if you play king e2 then king will come to e5 e3 king to e4 now king is forced to play king d2 now rook d7 check and if you are king move then there is simple rook d6 winning the game okay this position uh, it is black to black actually. What will do? It is not difficult to see that black is in big danger here. But by accurate play with the king, her man should save himself. Okay. Can you find accurate moves here? Can you find accurate move here, guys? yeah i thought i hope you guys have thought the correct answer so here the correct answer is king to g4 at first sight it seems wrong to block one's own pawn so but michael has con concluded that he must turn around his king in order to obstruct its white counterpart when the rook versus pawn ending is reached and if you play king h4 then uh, rook c8 check king e6 rook d7 is 4 so there's a uh, queen is that e8 queen takes take and g4 king e6 g3 king f5 very important move king first so g2 king f4 not me if you make the queen rook uh, h8 check if you make anything there is a rook h8 checkmate and you don't have any Tricks like king h3, then king f6. Suppose here, can check this is it. Okay, after king g4, king f6, a very important move. The trickiest trap, but this, this is the main uh, played in the game. But if you play rook c8, 
then look at 7, king e6. Yeah, I'm back, okay. Rusan, King is on. <laughs> King F4, and it, it is an easy draw because King is behind the pawn. Um, the, it means a one distance away, so. And that is there, and it is. Oh, it's just me calling one person. You can come or not. So King F6 is the good move. Look up it. I think a good move. Check. Then you can merge the exploit from the G5. So King goes to E6. Now if you play King D6, then Rook G8. And it uses for white to d8 to d5. And if you play rook c8, then it will again a draw rook c8, rook d7, king d7, king to f4, and again easy draw king f4, rook f5 check, uh, king g4, s4, so the, if you go anywhere, then rook g4 is coming. King f4, again, excellent move played by. Mechanics. So king e7 is met by again with a draw like king d7 g4 and king is much far away from the pawn. So g4, king f4, g3, king f3, and king h4 is the best move. But if you play rook h8, then uh, d8 queen. Taking is four, otherwise it's lost. And if take, then look at look at seven is mate. King h two, look at seven, king d one, and king g three. And now king king is coming here, maybe here, and pull from out. So rook g seven, king h five, king cross g three, king h six, rook g seven. Now king is uh uh. Not far away from the spawn, and uh, king, white king is far away from the spawn, so it should be a draw. And there's a push here. So, if you give the check, check is not possible. If you play like this move, then p7 and pawn is lost. Okay, guys, so this is a short session from my side. If you like the stream, then you can just subscribe, and we will.